hello welcome back to my channel it's your girl Amira I just thought that I would get back on here and take another pregnancy test and an ovulation test for you guys and then talk about the mom med fertility kit bundle I decided to get the one that came with uh, 60 ovulation tests and 20 pregnancy tests um, they both are looking like this and I have already taken a pregnancy test a couple days ago that I believe I see faint lines on, but it's probably just my eyes because that's always how I believe. But yeah, those are the two I took about two, three days ago. And I'm going to go ahead and take one more pregnancy test and one more ovulation test. And then I'll probably leave it at that and take a round of progesterone. If you don't know why I'm taking that, it's because I have an irregular period and sometimes I need to induce my period by taking some progesterone in the pill form. So yeah, this is how they come, little little packets like this, pregnancy, ovulation. I'm going to take some of those today for you and then also discuss some weird feelings, symptoms that I've had, some crazy dreams that I've had. And yeah, catch you up with me, with me, you guys. I haven't really been able to do that. I didn't do it in my last video, really. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go pee in a cup. <clears throat> Sorry. I was eating some frosted flakes. And my touch is really showing today. <laughs> Got some money over here. Okay. So I peed in a cup. I'm going to dip the ovulation first. Brand new out the package. Now, Mom Med, you can order off of Amazon or you can get it straight from the website. And be careful. For your pets, please. And children. But it comes with one of those little, what, deodorizing packets. I think that's what they're for. Yeah, it contains harmless absorbent, absorbent packages. It says it's harmless, but it says do not eat too, so. Hmm, how harmless is it? Sorry. There's the ovulation test. I'm going to go ahead and dip that now. And it's going across now. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back in the package and then get the <clears throat> pregnancy test open. Same deal. I'm going to dip that. So while those are processing, I just put it back in the package. I'm going to lay it flat. I'm going to talk to you guys about some weird things I've had going on. So a couple nights ago, I want to say it was Tuesday night, I was experiencing period symptoms. I was. I was cramping. My body just felt completely off. I was really tired. I could barely open my eyes. Um, my uh, significant other came in late that night, so he um, tried to wake me up, you know, kissing my face, you know, normal stuff, and I just could not open my eyes. And it was really weird, and I even woke up and told him, and I don't even remember saying this really, that I think I'd need to take a pregnancy test because my body just felt so off. So then the next day, same thing. I was having on and off cramping and not even really cramping, more like aching. I just had a lot of aching in my lower uh, stomach area where we usually get our cramps. And I just was like, I don't know what this is. I tried to go back in my calendar and see things because I haven't tracked anything. I've been taking a TTC break. So I haven't been able to track anything. Well, not that I haven't been able to. I just haven't wanted to. So the fact that I haven't, it's just kind of like, I don't know where I'm at in my cycle. So I went back in my calendar trying to like predict things and predict potential dates where I might have ovulated. But from what I understand, I don't ovulate. That's why I don't get my periods on time. And then I have to induce them. So it's like, I don't know, maybe my body's figuring itself out. And the month it figured itself out, I ended up conceiving. But I tell you what, I had a dream. It was a really long dream. So I hope I don't lose it here. But it was so detailed I can't even tell you when it was way before I started having the cramping on Tuesday but I had a dream that I went to use the bathroom and I guess I was pregnant in my dream like I had the belly and everything and um, when I went to go wipe mucus blood came out now mind you I've never been pregnant but I've been around people who are pregnant like close family members of mine and they've showed that to me and I've seen pictures online so in my dream I had mucus plug on the tissue and I was calling for my was uh, my boyfriend and I was like oh my god oh my god look 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 and then my dream kind of flashed to another scene to where I was driving to the hospital I was panicking I was rushing to the hospital all of that then I remember pushing 
and here comes a baby, baby girl full of curly black hair. Then I remember everyone being in my house. I guess I was having an at-home birth in like a little swimming pool. Now, you guys haven't seen my apartment. It's not that big. Sorry, my dog just ate and burped and it sounded like he was thrown up. You guys haven't seen my apartment, but it's really not that big. Unless I take out my couch, there would no way in hell be enough space for a pool and everyone that was there. But it was my boyfriend, his best friend, his sister, his mom. Then it was my mom, my, uh, my three sisters, my dad, his stepdad, and his real dad. Both of those people have passed away. His stepdad and his real dad. And then my grandma, my niece, and my nephew. And they were a little bit older looking in my dream. So gave birth to the baby, brought the baby home. That's where my dream ends, but it was so vivid and so detailed. Then I had a dream that an orange tabby cat gave birth to about four or five kittens in my bed and two of them had died. Now this isn't confirmed, but I feel like in the past I had a uh, two chemical pregnancies. So it was just a weird coincidence that in my dream, a kitten had given birth to four babies and two of them had died. I don't know. And then that same night, my boyfriend had a dream about snakes. And he doesn't ever dream. At least dreams that he can remember that are vivid. Hold on one sec. I don't want my cereal to get too soggy. Hmm. Excuse me. So rude, but I'm hungry. So yeah. It's just been a lot of weird coincidence, occurrences. My nephew came over yesterday. Laid on my belly, which he's not really a cuddly. T he's getting older, so he's trying to like go into his own, and he's not really trying to be like all cuddly and lovey like he was when he was a baby. But for some reason, he laid on my stomach, and then popped up and looked at me and said, "Auntie, are you gonna have a baby?" I just looked at him and I was like, "Someday." So weird, but I'm really not trying to read too much into it because I've done this before. But I'm gonna let these finishing um, finish processing, and then I'll come back on. It's kind of thirsty there, huh, buddy? All right, y'all, it's time. I'm going to start with the ovulation test first. Looks pretty negative from here. Now yeah, that's how it's been coming up. So I can pretty much guarantee you this pregnancy test is going to be negative. negative oh, let me get some more light on I need to stop looking at them so hard because I always feel like I can see something oh, this light's so bright Come on, focus. No, let me try a different angle. One second. So yeah, that's the test. I don't see anything on there. Looks like it's a no for me. Oh God. So stressful. That's the ovulation test. Never seen an ovulation test so negative. All right, so I'm gonna wrap up this video with saying that as of right now, I am not pregnant, even though I'm having symptoms. That is probably just period symptoms, but they just feel so weird. I just been feeling so strange. But I'm just gonna chalk it up to period for now until I get a more hmm symptom. But um, I have been having a little bit of. T uh, tender breasts and very sensitive nipples but it could be period too so I'm just gonna like I said chalk it up to period on the way and not baby on the way even though I pray to God for it every single day I literally have started doing pregnancy hypnosis videos on YouTube every time I go to bed <laughs> I'm at the point where it's like I'm gonna have to probably save up my money for IUI or IVF whatever they suggest when I start going back to a, a clinic or a specialist or something like that but as of right now, I still do have pills. I have Clomid um, that I stopped taking uh, six months ago. I still have a three month supply of 50 milligram Clomid that I could take for three months to just try again, but 
Oh no, I will let you guys know. I will keep you guys posted. I really hope you have a great 4th of July weekend. Please be safe. If you're shooting off guns, save your ammo. You might need it later on. <laughs> Not even trying to be funny, but this world is funny, okay? Another reason why I think God is trying to tell me to hold on, hold off. Let's let some of this crazy ish go by in the world. And then, yeah, see when I'm trying not to mess with it. But when I was resting my arm on it right now, it's like sore. But I'm going to leave it alone. I swear I'm going to leave it alone. <laughs> I'll take another one. What's today's date? The second. I'll take another one in two days. And I will film it for you guys. So I'll take one on Monday night, 4th of July evening. And go from there. If I don't get my period. I love you all. Bye-bye. Oh, and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It's very small. I would like to at least get up to 100 by next month, into next month, into August. I'm shooting for that. All right.